so we'll be making a 3d game in which we can set the quality any we want and we can move it by the cursor keys so sorry about that okay so here it is and that is our map we can use controls and go to our map it's in like a 3d maze mm -hmm. like that so let's start uh, i have a player uh, show you the costumes a simple costume is jet let me just enlarge it that is simple i have a render block okay so that is a simple bit of dot of 2.2 .2, 2 into 2 now i have a map it's the map which is going to be used in that so in the code in the first part i am going to code the player which is going to be move so let's start we say when click okay so you gotta show one click show and set cost effect to wait a minute where is that yeah yeah set uh, cost effect to um, let's say 98 and you also have to go to x like of 156 i think so and that of minus 95 so I have make uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six variables: distance, F V O I, and quality, velocity one, velocity two. And I have also make a list distances. So what I'm going to do is set the set the velocity. Where is that? Velocity one to zero. And I am also going to point in direction. Okay, sorry, point in direction ninety. So I take a forever loop in controls, take a forever loop and if loop and say okay or drag an or and drag two keys one here and one here. We say if key left arrow or key A which is W A S D change velocity by minus four. Let's say change velocity by minus 4 now I just duplicate this thing here if key right arrow is pressed or if key a uh, let's see D is pressed if key D is pressed then change that by 4 that's it now set velocity we're also going to set the velocity here set velocity 1 to Velocity and wait a minute. Uh, this velocity. Okay, where is that? Velocity one minus zero point five. And we also have to turn uh, velocity degrees. I just duplicate this thing here. Yeah. Turn velocity one degrees. So I now have to drag an if loop. I say if now again or loop if up arrow and key S is pressed. No, if up arrow and key W we say where is W W is pressed and then we have to change velocity to duplicate this thing change velocity 2 by let's say minus 1 now I just duplicate this thing here and place it right here now if down arrow and key let's say s is pressed that is s yeah that is s right so change that by not minus 1 but 1 so now I will set the velocity to the same thing I have set the velocity 1 to like this duplicate this thing okay so set velocity oh sorry here set velocity 2 to velocity 
velocity 2 into into I think that is minus no into. So, sorry about that we will be doing here also into velocity into sorry into 0 0.5 I will just duplicate this thing and put it right here and make it also the velocity to and I will put it right here now what I am going to do is 10 velocity 2 steps now that a key up and key down arrow is the steps so I will see I will do this move uh, duplicate Okay, I just duplicate this thing here and place it here and I will do it the velocity too. Now if touching world that is world here we say if go to sensing touching world then move I say move Sorry about that. Move zero minus velocity two steps. Now set, and we also have to set the y velocity two to zero. Here we have to set the velocity two to zero, and we have also broadcast a message. Let's say broadcast a message. Move. Okay. So now we go and say when clicked forever if key f is pressed is that let's say key f or we can also say key space is pressed then set ghost effect to zero okay so we have dragon if else if that is pressed then set ghost effect to where is that else just okay set ghost else just set ghost effect to the value we have set it like i was i have said it's 99 so what it will do it will it will show us in the map so that's the end of the part one meet you in the part two